Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Better Than Wolves. Off screen, I did a little bit of messing around, not only with here, uh, but with stewing pots also. I got myself another one. As you can see, it cooks food, and when scoured leather is combined with dung in the stewing pot, it creates tanned leather, which is useful in making a new form of armor which is actually has secondary uses uh, which I will explain a bit later and in creating this little thing it's called a saw I also played off panel with tr attempting to make an automated tree farm and it didn't turn out the way I expected it's a lot more complicated than my initial thoughts had uh, given me so instead of that, we will be making a little tiny s sawmill, let's call it. This sawmill will be the basic, will be performing the basic purposes of what saws are used for. Which are used for a variety of purposes, mainly mob grinding and the production of high efficiency and aesthetic blocks. So first off, we're going to need the basic platform. Unfortunately, that's right near the edge. That's all. We don't want that there. It's only going to be about too high, I think not any higher probably not too awful long either with a little more time maybe I could have figured out a full automated tree farm but we don't have a uh, block dispenser which is an unfortunate thing so we're going to go like that and probably a huge chunk of wood to provide the upper decking. And of course it becomes nighttime out as we begin the process of making what will undoubtedly be decent, decent thing. So, other than creating a giant transmission line that, by all physical means and purposes, should not be supported by any form of gravity, I also began a little bit of working up there. Like I said, the tanned leather can be made into armor, a gimp suit, a chest, a leather vest, and some chaps. And if you put them all in a row vertically on the crafting table, one, two, and three, they create what's called a breeding harness. You could, of course, wear the gimp mask, leather vest, and uh, chaps if you wanted to. Um, but uh, more appropriately, it is used for making animals immobilized. Those cows are never leaving there. Their job is to breed. And we're going to be using some water and some saws, which means we got to get some power up there to create an automated cow processing facility. Let's call it that. So we won't have to worry about a lot of things anymore. Now, I'm creating some fences for the aesthetic look of them being so small. Also for the fact that it is going to wrap around the edges a little bit. Just a little bit. 
mainly back here. No, I wanted to wrap around. Let's see. And do I have any axles? Yes. We have some axles. So I'll put that there, which means we need the gearbox to go there. And then this comes down like so. And then the saw goes kabloom. And for ease of control over whether or not the saw is on, we'd have to put down the actual gearbox. Because as of right now, it doesn't hurt. When it's on, it hurts a lot. Anyway, the main use of it is to wood planks become Siding. Siding, when cut again, becomes molding. Now, siding is... Oh, it's just another slab, right? Right. Wrong! Slabs cannot go vertical. Uh, same thing with moldings. They can go vertical. But if you cut a molding again, you get two corners and that... Whatever that lag spike was, was very bad. Corners. And if you cut a corner again, you get gears. So quite frankly, you could quite realistically get a lot of gears very, very quickly. Let's see how many we get. You get 16 gears from one wooden plank. That is substantially awesome. And that is very, very nice, actually. It's an efficient way to get gears and to get the other various aesthetic pieces you want. Now, since that's mostly what we came here to do, but not all that we came here to do. We also want to uh, give this thing some kind of a roof of uh, some sort. <clears throat> well, there goes that idea of making it that tall, but uh, this is only going to be basically a little sawmill anyway, like I said. Nothing Mm. Nothing automated, really. Actually... I'm going to need a lot of wood. This is also an efficient way of getting logs. It's much more fun, anyway, than just putting it in your crafting table and going, Okay. Now, I also picked up sawdust. Sawdust has its uses in later eras. Right now, it's pretty much useless to us. Pretty much. I probably should have kept some of those as logs, but, uh, oh well. Because I need a lot more, a lot more stairs. Yes, yes, I hear you. There's still a lot of mechanical power going on, people. We'll be working on the 
automated cow place next. Because with the capabilities of corners and such and so forth, we actually get a few new recipes. Mainly a hopper, which is a phenomenal item. I can't believe it took us this long to get to. Uh, hoppers basically allow for the automated filling of chests. And uh, then some. It also allows the much more civilized use of water as a medium for controlling the flow of uh, items. So quite literally, we could automate the cows. I'm not jo I wasn't joking when I said we'll automate the cows. They're breeding and everything. Come on. This is the problem with stairs. You gotta be on the higher part. Just trying to make this seem a little bit more... I can't say legit, but... I can't say legit because it really is not going to look quote-unquote legit anyway. Just adding a bit of character to it, actually. Character is a much better term. There we go. And that's the high point. And hopefully it doesn't start storming because we will not make it to the windmill in time. And we will have a broken gearbox. No, you stupid thing. Hmm. A little bit more complicated up top, but uh, nothing I can't handle. I think we'll add a bit of uh, a bit of the special special things. The sidings and such. If I have any, yes. There we go. Aesthetic pieces have been created. their purpose? What am I going to use them for? Well, the sidings are going to be used to cover up. Not that, that's for sure. Um, hmm. Maybe I have to... Nope, not on top of the lever. Hmm. They are making this awfully annoying, aren't they? Yes, yes it is. I almost need slabs. Yes, that's actually what I need are some slabs. Although some corners might not be too bad either. Yeah, some corners would not be bad to go up top either. Anyway, I'll add a couple of slabs up there to just make it look a bit better, a bit nicer. And let's see if we can't... No, it's not going to let me. That's quite unfortunate. But, uh, some new decorative pieces. Some new decorative pieces, some pieces that have a purpose. And automation. And 18 steak. Some more tanned leather. I think I'll show you the recipe in case you don't know it. You know, the creation of armor. Ah. 
I'm not a big aesthetic guy, so a lot of these little pieces don't, uh, they don't really work for me. I really don't have a lot of uses for them. But anyway, tanned leather in all spots, but that one. Uh, there's the helmet. Apparently that does exist. And chaps. Apparently there are boots. What are they called? Biker boots. Cool. Oh, yes, the other purpose. Eight straps. Belt. And you make a saw by wood gear three gears a belt and iron I don't have any iron so I can't show you what it looks like but I believe that is the recipe that is the recipe folks and that is the basics of a saw well we will next time be working on the cows that is going to be fun but uh, until then folks this is Stompin' Llama we'll see you next time I'm signing out